There is a specific technique for mixing oil paint that comes straight out of a tube when you're using a palette knife. Right now I've just uh, squeezed out some cadmium red straight as it comes out of the tube. As you can see it's it's got a fairly stiff consistency. To mix paint to make it move easily onto a surface it tends to be a kind of a kneading process. You're pulling the paint out and flattening it down so that um, it's going to change the consistency of it a little bit. It becomes smoother and more malleable. It's easier to spread so when I spread it across my support it's going to move smoothly. Um, when you mix it with other colors you need to do the same motion to be able to mix colors smoothly and I'll show you how that's done by adding a little white to that. If I take some titanium white, it's got a little bit of other color mixed in but at this point it's not going to matter. If I want to mix my two colors together, if I want to take equal quantities. So if I want to smooth these together and change the value by adding more white I'm going to make this cad red lighter but I'm using that continual pressing and scraping motion so that the two pigments are blended together and there are no streaks in it. If I apply it to a surface without careful blending the uh, streaks of paint are going to show on the surface and be really significant and it's usually not something you want to show on the surface. So you're continually pressing it down running the blade back and forth across the surface. You're changing the texture of it slightly as well as you do this. Any other color or pigment that's on your knife will come off into your paint. So you have to ensure that when your knife is clean so wipe it between colors and really spread it and blend it carefully so when you have your final pile of paint you know it's going to be cohesive and it's, you know it's going to be the right texture for spreading and putting onto your palette or, or onto your surface. There are also other mediums that are available to change texture within your painting. This is an alkyd butter. It uh, is a textured gel that changes the consistency of the paint slightly. So I'm just, and also changes the drying time. It will um, reduce the drying time. It's a very smooth, it does not change the color of the paint, but it will change the texture slightly. It becomes a little bit thicker, a little bit tackier. Um, it also has a fairly strong odor to it. The other item that I use is a wax. This is a cold wax uh, and just as the name implies it, it, it kind of has the consistency of, of a, a cold cream and similar to the butter itself it uh, will change the consistency slightly of the paint as well as the drying time. So if I did the same thing again, if I took some of my paint and added it to the butter now you'll see the difference in this as well. It, it turns it into a little bit of a drier texture. Now if you're using acrylics you would need to perhaps add a thickening gel to an acrylic paint to get the texture up to, to, to the same consistency that you would for oil paint. But ultimately when that butter or that wax is, is mixed in it becomes a bit more of a matte surface compared to the one that I used with the Alkyd Butter. So it changes the overall surface. When it dries you're going to have more of a matte finish. So that's pretty it. Pretty much it. It's simple and straightforward for mixing paints uh, when you're going to apply them for palette knife painting.